I think people should start as soon as they possibly can. Hopefully your parents will introduce you to investing and get you started at the youngest possible age with your various savings accounts and so forth as a child. But most people don't, unfortunately. They don't learn about it in school. Schools don't teach this kind of thing in terms of financial literacy. And so it's a national problem that uh, kids are not doing what they should do early on in their life. So they lose all those years of compound interest, compound growth, so they don't really find out about investing and what the responsibility is for them to do until they're maybe 30 years of age. And that's way too long to wait. When you're just beginning the going down the road of investing, some of the critical things you need to think about is words like diversification. What does that really mean? Is it one stock or two stocks or a mutual fund? Learn about how you can get diversification because you don't want to put every dollar you have in one investment because the nature of investing is there's some risk behind all these things. So if you have a portfolio and you can do that very inexpensively by index funds at the very beginning when you're young and have not much money. Then uh, you're going to want to make sure it's low cost the lowest possible cost. So look around and see firms like us who offer things at very low cost or no cost for that matter uh, to get started. There'll be other costs along the way, but there are, look for the firms that provide the most efficient way of delivering service to you. And you, it's obviously online, but that's uh, something you need to learn yourself along the way. Well, if I had a magic wand about changing the academic system, I would start really um, in high school with introduction to financial decisions. I think the earlier you learn about all the things, whether it's credit cards or checking accounts or interest or borrowing or all those things put together, what does it mean? How does it impact your life? And how will it influence you later on in life because we all have to essentially take care of ourselves. Other than Social Security, we are in America's system. You gotta do a lot for yourself. It's an obligation you have personally. So as a parent, teach your kids early on, introduce them to it. If you're a teacher, hopefully you introduce it somehow in the classrooms. But that is a big thing in America, learning personal responsibility about your financial welfare.